All right, another thing that I wanted to show you is how to insert or embed a Google document into your Weebly page. So some of you I was able to show this too, but I thought I would make a little video here to, to show the rest of the class how to do this. So I am going to embed this uh, lab report document into my web page. So there's a few steps to this, but it's still pretty easy. So let's let's show you how to do that. I'm going to go to a, my Weebly page here and I'm going to go to the section um, that in the inserting document section over here. Okay, I'm going to go to embed code. I'm just going to click and drag that over onto my web page. And you'll see it says click to set custom HTML, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Google document and I'm going to go click on the file tab, go to publish to the web. And here you'll see that it says either link or embed. And I would like to click on embed and then I'm going to click on the publish button. It'll say, are you sure you want to publish? And I'll say, okay. It'll come up with this code that you're going to copy. So I have a Mac, so I'm going to click uh, command C or control C if you're working on a Chromebook or any other uh, PC computer. So I've copied this text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Weebly page and I'm just going to click this once. And I'm going to paste this in. I can either do that by um, control V or just a right click paste. And you'll see that when I click out, it will embed my document into this section of the web page. You can kind of see that it's small and it's not exactly what I, I'm hoping for. So I'm going to click again. And first of all, I want it to be centered, so I'm going to make sure it's centered. And beyond that, I'm also going to uh, go into the edit bar here. And right beside frame, I'm going to click enter twice, and I'm going to shift everything from this section down. And I'm going to type in the word width. And then I'm going to go width equals, and then a quotation mark. And then I'm going to type 100% with another quotation mark. That should give me a, a pretty good width and it should be uh, the full width of my uh, home page here. And then I'm going to type in the word height. And height is in pixels, so I'm actually just going to type the number in quotations 500 and that will give me a pretty good uh, height on the document. You can change this to whatever number you want or you can just leave it as is and uh, a scrolling option should be there. I'm just going to click once outside of the box and you'll notice that the width is significantly better. I have my whole document here and uh, the height is a lot better as well. I can see a greater portion of the document. So that should help you with embedding Google Documents into your web page. You can do this with basically any Google document. I can do the same thing with my air temperature and altitude data, which you shouldn't do. You should have all this data in your one lab report, but it's the same procedure. Click on publish to the web, click embed, and embed the specific code into the web page. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please email me.